So Karen, with that, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, I'll do the best I can to answer questions, and I would ask everyone if uh, if I can't answer the question or if the question is incomplete, uh, I would be more than happy to continue a dialogue at any time uh, with anyone if they're interested. So. Thank you, John. Um, I have a, do have a couple of comments here. Um, uh, yes, Roger's asking, will this webinar be stored? Yes, um, this is being recorded and it'll be available on our website probably by tomorrow, Roger, for anybody who wants to see it. And um, Manny is asking, due to changing technology at a rapid pace, it becomes a challenge to keep metrics updated for leveraging monitoring across the board because there's so, much there's so much change going on in the technology. That's correct. Uh, and part of, uh, part of the challenge is to put in place, look, you're never going to have one monitor, right? I'm not suggesting that you're going to have one tool that can monitor everything. And part of what monitoring needs to do is manage a portfolio of tools in the most effective way. And that's why having the governance mechanisms, and I think it's encouraging that we're, we're kind of centralizing monitoring decisions because uh, it allows us to monitor that kind of portfolio and manage that portfolio more effectively. So I get it. Well, you know, I, I, I feel uh, that customer's uh, issue. Uh, so we've got a lot of, a lot of, we got 15 years of experience uh, managing changes from adding things like GPU processors and new applications and everything else. So we've, we, uh, we can definitely relate to that. The pains. Yep. <laughs> and the well, challenges. The, the, the technology, I mean, the technology is often changing faster than people can keep up with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's great that we're experimenting with a lot of things in, in dev, but value is realized in production. And so uh, if something's going to move to production, we've got to be able to monitor. Uh, and so that's that's really where the rub is. And Roger saying making monitoring decisions an integral part of the design process is very important. I, I totally agree. And, and that's uh, one of the things that we do. Uh, I don't want to turn into a commercial, but we, we build, uh, 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 we provide developers with the ability to build uh, what we call self-healing correlation. So when they build uh, their applications, they can put in new monitoring and tests and leverage the embedded analytics they that we have in the monitor so they can create self-healing applications. And Rose is commenting um, that she really liked the not my problem slide. She said we all need to shatter the silos, especially with metrics and analytics. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I will tell you, I have personally been fighting that battle for 15 years. <laughs> so uh, that's, um, it's easy to say, it's hard to do because, um, look, people have uh, sometimes many, many years of, of do, working in a certain way. So um, I will tell you that um, uh, this concept of transparency, making sure that everyone has not just visibility to what's going on, but um, being able to apply the analytics so that everyone gets the same answer, it can go a long way to breaking down those silos. And I've, we've got customers that where we've actually done that. So Sam is asking, um, we're moving to the cloud. How will this impact monitoring? Well, uh, baselines are more important than ever, right? So if uh, a cloud is a service, so cloud monitoring means you need to monitor the cloud provider's services, whether that's infrastructure as a service or platform or software as a service, still needs monitoring. The cloud SLAs really um, uh, are um, not always, um, keeping up with uh, the, the cloud providers offerings are growing very rapidly. The SLAs and the standards are not uh, necessarily keeping pace. And so uh, when we say uh, a good practice is conducting a baseline, if you're going to move things to the cloud, I would uh, say absolutely uh, uh, baseline uh, your service that you intend to move to the cloud first and then uh, baseline again when you get to the cloud. So that would be a simple answer. The other thing that could change 
is uh, when you move to the cloud is if you're doing development, you might get into some of the new technologies like containers and so forth. And there might be design issues around applications and those things need to be carefully thought out and planned as well. And uh, monitoring uh, comes into play in those, in those cases as well. So, and, and if I don't answer the question completely or if you have a follow-up, I've, I've got no problem with that. The more interaction, the better as far as I'm concerned. Sometimes it's tough in these Q&As to, to just give one, you don't really have a chance to do much of a conversation. So um, I'll do the best I can answer-wise. Okay, um, thank you. Um, Eric, are you still here with us? Yes, ma'am, I am. Hey, Eric, um, Jerry just gave us a, a chat in here and he said that he tried to download the slides at the link that you provided, mm -hmm. but the Acrobat is reporting that the file is damaged. Could you check that? I sure can. I'll take a look. Perfect. Thank you. And thank you, Jerry, for letting us know. Okay, John, Diane has a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of all the freeware that's available? Wouldn't that be the least costly approach to monitoring? Well, uh, maybe. A freeware is not necessarily free though, right? Um, the freeware that I've seen um, will do uh, some good data collection and provide a certain amount of visibility, a um, little less so around the analytics side. So um, I haven't seen a lot of freeware that really does um, a significant amount of analytics. Um, that doesn't mean it's not out there, but I haven't seen it. Uh, so um, I would be careful. Freeware is not necessarily free. I think uh, I think the uh, there's a perception that the cost of monitoring is 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 largely around data collecting the data, and uh, in my experience, it's not really collecting the data is not the hard part. It's making sense of the data, and so um, if you're looking at freeware think about, okay, now that I've got all this information, what do I have to do to analyze it? Even if you're getting a lot of charts and graphs, someone has to interpret that. And that's uh, usually involves a fairly skilled person. So um, that's my two cents there. Thank you, John. And I have one more question. So if anybody else has questions, um, please chat them in now. Um, and Dave is asking, which is more critical, application or infrastructure monitoring? That's an interesting, that's a, that's, I could talk for an hour on that one. The, they're both important, right? And end-to-end and -end business service is going to be made up of both. Uh, and a performance issue, the, the cause of a performance issue could be in either. And so, uh, again, our, uh, our approach is we've converged both application and infrastructure. And so, I uh, feel strongly that uh, even with cloud and even if you're using infrastructure as a service, the infrastructure hasn't gone away, it's still there. Uh, and so uh, they're both important. Uh, and that's, again, that can be a point of frustration for customers because um, there's not a lot of products out there that can do both. So, um, but they're both, they're both important. The one's not more important than the other. Thank you, John. Well, you gave us a lot of information and a lot of food for thought here today on monitoring. So I appreciate your time today in joining us. And well, thanks for having me. I, I'm, yeah. I'm very happy to be uh, back uh, talking to ITSM Academy. <laughs> right. Well, we hope you're coming back again. This is yeah. great. Yeah.